Hey, Pam, it's great to see you. Is Michael in? Hey! Yeah. There he is! There he is! He's back! And he's with a beard. <laughs> he has facial hair. Look at him! All oh, grown up and no place to go. Hello, Mr. Sonny Crockett. I'm Tubbs. Okay, should we get started? Oh, yeah, let's get started because, uh, yes, because it was very serious business. Yep, and, um, exactly. Have have this is a business meeting. Business meeting. Fire! Ah, stop that! That's right! That's oh, right! Fire me. guy! Fire Don't guy. start any fires! Fire right? guy! You weren't here for that. Here for what? When he started Look the fire. Look how big he is. Look at you. You are so mature and old and little man now. You're like our little okay. man. Little old man boy. Michael, everybody. Beard. Um, bearded man boy. Wow. Let me say something. I know I used to be a temp here, but now everything is different. Yeah. I'd like your respect. I am your boss now. You're going to have to treat me the same way you treated Jan. Oh, wow. So. Mm, that's a little kinky. I don't swing that way. Okay. Woo! <laughs> I think Ryan is a gay crush on me. Enough, okay? <laughs> this is inappropriate and it stops right now. Dunder Mifflin Infinity represents a floor-to-ceiling streamlining of our business model. The centerpiece of the campaign is a new business-to-business -business website interface that will allow us to compete directly with big box chains. This is a massive overhaul. We're getting younger, sleeker, and more agile with the way that we adapt to the marketplace. All essential personnel will be issued Blackberries for company Ooh, use. Ooh, gimme, 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 gimme. I'll stick around for a while to help you set them up afterwards. Any questions? Dwight. What if we don't want to use a Blackberry because they are stupid and pointless? This is company-wide, Dwight. Got it. We're screwed. I was. Us, you and me, the old timers. I am not old. You are old. You are like 100. You're over 40, that's the cutoff. Are you listening to what he's saying? Retraining, new system, youth. I'm telling you, this kid is the Grim Reaper. You deal with this, or you, me, Sammy, Phyllis, the chick hit with a car, we're goners. What is that word? Ageism. You know, the companies, they can't discriminate against people due to old age. Like a couple years ago, we tried to force out some of the older branch managers with a mandatory retirement age, and then Ed Truck, your old boss, threatened us with a lawsuit, so we had to back off. So older people have just as many rights as younger people? Yes, Michael. They do. Yes, sir. Everything okay? Everything's cool, dude. I'm 30. Well, in November, I'll be 30. Why do we, as a society, hate old people so much? Because they're lame. No! Creed, no, they are not. In fact, many cultures revere old people because of their storytelling ability, like the old lady from Titanic, or the funny things that they can do, like where's the beef? Yeah. Why do you have the big picture up again? You used that already when you burned your foot. We're using the Ben Kingsley, too. I was going to put up some new pictures, but um, all of the ink in the printer was gone. Oh. Michael Scott. That is me. Come on in. Who is this old fart? Did you just stagger off the street out of a box or something? Who is this worthless bag of bones? Well. This guy is none other than one of the founders of Dunder Mifflin, Mr. Robert Dunder. I started this company in 1949. Wow. Back then it was a, an industrial supplier of metal brackets, mostly, for, for construction. Oh, boy. And then Mifflin. Of course, he killed himself later. Uh, but I knew Mifflin through the Rotary Club. Great. And he was, <laughs> he was at dinner with Beverly. And her husband, oh, what was his name? Uh, uh, Jerry. Jerry Truppiano from, from South Jersey. And he was tall. Well, today was a fantastic waste of time. I disagree. I think it was very valuable. Michael, technology helps business, okay? You should not resist it. This is the way the world is moving. I happen to think that the old ways of doing business are better. And I can prove it. Yeah! Hey, boss. I didn't know you were coming in today. What's uh, going on here? I am glad that you asked. Listen up, everybody. In the last year, we have lost seven clients. 
to the big chains. These gift baskets are our ticket back into their lives. We are going to show up at these businesses unannounced, and we are going to win them back. With gift baskets. With peanut brittle. Business to business, the old fashioned way. No Blackberries, no websites. I would like to see a website deliver baskets of food to people. And the last guy says, no, hairy body. You know, I have heard it before. Ah, well, it's still very good. <laughs> I bet I know someone who hasn't heard that joke. Your daughter, Emily, how's she doing? <laughs> She's great, thanks for asking. <laughs> great memory. Ah, uh, she could be like 11 this winter? Wow, they grow up so fast. I have a few of my own that I want someday. Listen, I don't want to take any more of your time. I know you're a very busy man. The reason we have stopped by is to drop you off this elaborate bag of goodies and to ask you to reconsider. Okay. Okay, okay. okay. So you'll reconsider? Okay, thanks for the goodies. Ah. Is that all you have to say? It looks delicious? <laughs> I don't know. You don't know? Look, we want you back. Can you offer lower prices? Well, no. No, then we're not coming back. Well, he's not coming back. It's over, Michael. No, it's not. No, he's right. No. Accept it. Why would he come back? Why would he come back? I will tell you, Dwight, he would come back because we offer a wide selection of products and because you're definitely not getting the same sort of customer service that you get with us, That's are you? not going to change his mind. He's moving on. We had our chance and we killed it. No. Look, we're also coming out with a website soon. It's a state-of-the-art thing. It'll be up and running. It's going to cut costs, and it will make ordering much, much easier. Oh, okay. Well, when it's up, I'll check it out. And if it really cuts costs, maybe we'll come back. Great. The magic of the gift basket. That I don't care about as much. Let me know when the site's up. Okay. Make a right turn. Wait, 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 wait. No, 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 no. It means bear right. No. Up there. It said right. It said take a right. No, 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 look. It, it means go up to the right, bear right, over the bridge, and hook up with 307. Make a right Maybe turn. it's a shortcut, Dwight. It said go to the right. It can't mean that. There's look, a lake right there. I think it knows where it is going. This is the, the lake. machine knows. This is the lake. Stop yelling at me. No, it's Stop not yelling. yelling. There's no road here. Remain calm. I have trained for this. Okay. Exit the window. Here we go. Make a U-turn, if possible. Look out for Layton! Michael! Are you okay? Swim for it! I got you! I got you! Get out. Get out. Michael! Michael! Let go! Ah, let go of me! Come on! I got you! Did you forget something? What happened to you guys? Give it back. The gift basket. Give it back. What is this? It's real simple. If you don't appreciate what we do, then give us back our basket. Maybe you should leave. Yeah, maybe we should. Maybe we should leave. Come on, let's leave. But before we leave, my wet friend and I are going to wait for our cabs on your nice Couches! Can you call us a cab, please? I'm gonna. Oh, sorry. Look, Look my clothes are so wet. Wet. Nice leather. Oh, my shoes are so muddy. All right, here you go. Take it back. It's been opened. Yeah, it was mine. What's missing? The turtles. Where are the Summer turtles? Sausage. Where are the turtles? Come on, guys, get out of here. Where are the turtles? Where are they? Excuse me, I have an announcement to make. We seem to be missing a box of chocolate turtles with pecans, and we will not be leaving the premises until we obtain them. Hand over the turtles now! I ate them, okay? I ate the turtles. They're gone.
May I have your attention, please? This office will not be using any new technology ever, starting now. That is not correct. Ryan thinks that technology is the answer. Well, guess what? I just drove my car into a lake. You did what? I drove my car into a lake. Why, you may ask, did I do this? Well, because of a machine. A machine told me to drive into a lake, and I did it. I did it because I trusted Ryan's precious technology. And look where it got me. Into a lake. Exactly. Did you get any clients back? Maybe, maybe not. Time will tell. But I will tell you one thing, those gift baskets never endangered anybody's lives. Game, set, match. Point. Scott, game over. End of game.